Mr. Gennaro is very happy with the website. His customers can now see the available products and their details. But one thing is missing. Product images. Mr. Gennaro asks Georgie to add them to the website. Georgie investigates how this works and finds out that media files like product images require some effort. For example, you have to ask yourself where to store the product images. Django's admin module supports image uploading to a media folder. While this works perfectly on your local machine, you might run into problems once the website is deployed. That means that we have to host the product photos somewhere else. Luckily, our graphic designer Roberto has an idea. He will make a photo of all products and upload them to the webshop repository on GitHub. The webshop can then link to GitHub to get the images. Open the link you see on the screen and click on product list 1. Here you see the four products, including product images. I open the index template and expand the div tag. Then I add the image as its first item. I test it in the browser. Linking two images on GitHub works. Do you remember what the end product looks like? The products on the home page are organized in a grid. We have some tasks to do. First, I'll create some styles to organize the images in a grid. Then, I add an attribute to the database where the correct image for each product is specified. I will put the product list in a div. I add a class attribute to the inner div. And I wrap the price in a paragraph. I open the stylesheet in the static folder and make the product grid an inline grid with four columns. I check what it looks like. The grid works. Let me style the individual products. I check again what it looks like. That is starting to look nice. We are getting closer to the target. But now we have to show the correct image. We will store the file name in the product table. I start by adding a new attribute to the product model. Since we are not uploading anything to our website, but just want to store file name, a char field is what we need. I save the file and create migrations for the shop app. I provide a default value by pressing 1 and entering an empty string. and migrate the database. And start the server again. I open the administration module to enter the file names. I go to the products and click on water. I enter the file name for water.
Here is the overview again. Enter the proper file names for the products in your admin module. Pause the video and resume when you're done. We have one task left to do. Look at the image tag. You see that this will always load the same image. Somehow we need to get the image name from the database. And it would also be nice if we did not have to specify the path in the template. The solution is to create a custom template tag for this. To link to the details page, we have used Django's built-in URL template tag. The tag takes some arguments and returns a URL. We are going to create something similar. Our custom template tag is a function that takes an image name and returns a URL to that image in the GitHub repository. Creating the custom template tag is very similar to creating the currency template filter. Let me show you. I put the template tag in the HTML formatters file. And I register the tag. The template tag is now created and registered. It is ready to be used in the index template. I replace the hard coded URL with the template tag. This will call the product image template tag. The product image template tag expects a parameter, which is the image name. We add it as an argument like this. Let's test if it works. It does not seem to work yet. What could be the problem here? Let's inspect the images in the web developer tools. Look at the image source. The tag works, but the image file name is missing. That means that the product image is not in the context. Let's check it. I'll add the product image to the products list in the context dictionary. And test again in the browser. And now it works. Look at the image source again. It contains the image file name and the images are shown. We now see the product images in the index page. But have you already tried clicking on a product name? The product details page should also show the image. To add it, we need to do the following things. Add image to the product details view context. Add image HTML tag to the template and use the product image template tag. You have all the knowledge to do this yourself, so you are welcome to pause the video and try it yourself. If you leave the video running, I will show how I do it. I start by adding the image file name to the product details view context. The context now also provides the image. It can be used in the product details template. That works, but the image is too large. I'll give the image a class attribute and style it in the style sheet. That looks better. Mr. Gennaro can enter all his products now. 
and we need to enter them as well. Open the GitHub repository in the browser. This time, click on Product List 2. Here you find all 17 products for Gennaro's webshop. Open the Django administration module and enter all 17 products. Pause the video and resume when you're done. Go back to the website and see what it looks like. This is starting to look like the real deal. Make sure the product details are shown correctly by clicking on some product names. Mr. Gennaro has entered many products and he notices something. The index page is starting to get very big. He wonders if the products could be organized better. How this works, you will see in the next chapter.